All right, welcome inside the Mind of Man. And I got a special guest here. At, we're here at Earth 2018. And this is Alex, the designer of the Piper. So I'd like to introduce him. And he's going to show us a couple of things that he's got going on in the background. And uh, we'll go from there. So, hi, how are we doing? Welcome to hi, Earth. Man. Finally, good to meet you. Well, Thank actually, you. I met you at Murph, but we didn't get to talk and I didn't get an interview. Yes. But now we get to talk. So. Thank you very much for helping me to from and promoting my printers. Um, I appreciate. I, I really appreciate. It. I appreciate Thank the concept. You. It just it fits with me. You know, I'm an electrician and it's electrical parts. So very good. Now, what That's inspired awesome. you to actually use electrical conduit? Uh, something that is first of all. Some time ago, I saw another project based of conduit, which is MPCNC. Right. I built one for myself. Okay. And uh, I like was impressed by also by using the uh, conduit system, conduit uh, conduit pipes as a linear motion system as a frame at the same time. Uh, and when it came to to making 3D printer, first of all I tried printing on on PCNC. Unfortunately, the performance wasn't there mainly because of uh, MPCNC has. I mean, it's great design, but it has heavy head. Right. And it's you need to print very slow to, in order to, to receive quality prints. Right. Okay. So then I decided to make something uh, not similar, but to design a printer based on the same chip system, chip uh, parts which MPCNC is using. So this is how uh, Piper One came out, and more than this, the very first uh, build I had of Piper One was printed on MPCNC. It was slow, but it was printed. Okay. And you're using this like as an educational thing as well, right? Uh, yes. Uh, it well, it's it was growing. I mean, the thing about the uh, 3D printers were, were, was growing in our family, and my wife Irina decided to uh, to create educational side. Okay. And she is uh, now she now has a company which is called 3D Steps. And she is running uh, classes, workshops uh, in New Jersey, and we may op we may open a little bit for surrounding area as well. Okay. Now you actually have a second version of the first version, yes. and then a version two of the Piper, which is a Core X Y, correct? Yes, correct. And we have them here and. I'll have video of them and I'll put them in there. But uh, some of the rebuild is because of you know some breaking of the 3D printed Three, yes. parts, and so you're actually Developing. printing these and building them for yourself. How many of these do you have at home? Uh, I'm not counting those which are not finished yet. Right. So counting only those uh, which are working in working condition. It's uh, I have four Piper ones. Okay. And I have two Piper twos. Nice. And they're all actively printing, yes. probably sitting at home, yes. printing parts. Now, you have a website, uh, which I'll leave a link in the description and stuff. So you sell the parts for the Piper if somebody I'm, doesn't I'm want to print them. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Okay. To sell it. Yeah. So he's, it's on Thingiverse. Uh, I've got links down in the description. And there's a Facebook group that I started and Alex is part of. You can join in, Thank you, man. share, and be part of the group and kind of open source it and, you know, stuff. So anything else you'd like to tell everybody on my YouTube channel? Uh, if you would mind, wouldn't mind, I would want just to walk uh, people through this uh, presentation. Awesome. You may, if you may drive camera instead. <laughs> you will be cameraman now. All right. Okay. This is presentation of Piper uh, 3D printers. The reason why this is like a not completed 3D printer with uh, only assembled frame. Uh, the reason why I brought it and leaving this not being fixed in particular is because of uh, the day before yesterday, which was on Friday, June, what it was, 20, 20 something. We had uh, six and seven-year-old kids assembling it, and to the to this state, and they had exp like they became part of the Piper builders. 
they had a lot of fun. Some of the kids didn't want to go home after the uh, workshop. So this is uh, Piper 1 version 1. Uh, this is a build that, which is done by my son who is 15 year old. Uh, if you know Piper, I mean, conduit pipes, printed parts. Uh, one thing I added is a heated bed and I also put the spring steel. Now I can remove the parts without effort. And that's held out by magnets underneath, right? Yes, there are magnets underneath of the bed, which are holding a uh, build plate in place. So this this is version two. I mean, let's let's move over here. So I have this problem as well that uh, some parts are breaking, mainly because of the way how this uh, the, the this way part it's is printed. It, the layers. When, when weakness is at that point, yes. you know. Yeah. When the, when yes. you tie it, the layers are breaking. So I I'm fixing this problem with the version two. In version two, uh, this joint, this corner is still printed the same way, but those the are joint, printed flat so that the yes. When you tie them together, they're not breaking. So they they work to elongate, not to no, not to break apart. I like it. And it actually allows it for that, like the two-tone that I was looking for, it, it would allow me to to accent all those pieces throughout the whole piece, you know. So uh, this was uh, Piper 1 version 2. Right now it's on Thingiverse. So anybody can download, make one for themselves. Uh, this printer is a uh, work in progress. It's uh, Piper 2 or Piper second generation. It's a uh, core XY design. It has uh, a stationary bed. The reason why I went with stationary bed is because of, as you will go wider or longer, you will eventually buy heated pad, which is 110 volts. Placing it on a moving platform is not a very smart idea. Because of it's as you are electrician, you should know this. Yes, so electrical wires which are moving, they will eventually break. Especially as frequently as uh, this is one distinct feature. Another distinct feature is uh, uh, the direction of the motors on Core XY. One motor is looking up, one motor is looking down. What it allows me to do, it allows to run two belts independently, they're not crossing each other. And uh, more than this, the parts from one side of the gantry are exactly the same as parts on another side of the gantry. Okay. So it simplifies design process a little bit. Uh, it, lim it minimizes number of parts uh, I need to put to Thingiverse. It's not minimizing number of parts uh, you need to uh, to print. print yes but right so similar parts there i mean like similarity of parts uh the print quality you may see on this little guy so piper one is still printing uh, green pla you may compare so and this is uh this robot was printed on piper two and you may compare them you may see the difference wow Great. The, this best up board was uh, printed yesterday on that on the Piper 2. That's great. With the exception of some overhangs. Yeah, and that's that's a steep overhang for any printer to handle, you know. Very nice. So, well, it was awesome to meet you. Thank and you, Matt. I appreciate you uh, supporting the channel, and I hope that you uh, continue to design printers and contribute to the community so thanks everybody for stopping Thank inside you. the mind of Matt make sure that you uh, give this video a like and check out all the links I got down in the description happy printing be safe piping <laughs>